Hello guys, today we're talking about Batwoman again. I asked the TV so that nobody wanted. it. As you all know, the CW Arrowverse is not really that great. Some people claim it's this great paragon of DC Comics, but as you all know, now it isn't anymore. With each season of Supergirl, it gets worse, and each season of every show they continue to make, it continues to get worse and worse as it goes on. But, they released another Batwoman trailer. I watched the trailer like, two minutes ago. It looked terrible, and that's basically it. It was basically, um, Batwoman was going to give some things, some clock to some girl, and the military guy said don't give it to her, so she just goes ahead and gives it to her. It's not really anything special or new. It's just, it's just dumb, and it's really says times are changing, and it makes no sense, um, give us back Batman, um, I think, the, I think I would rather watch, um, Batman and Robin than watch Batwoman 50 times. I think the new Batman movie is going to be better than this movie, the one of the guy from Twilight, the Twilight movie, it'll probably it'll still be better than Batwoman, N guaranteed. I don't, I don't, I think the guy could probably do a better job than Ben Affleck's Batman, because Ben Affleck is just, he doesn't know how, he is not, this, people say he's a good actor, but he's not really a good actor, huh? that's because he won a Best Picture Award, which he doesn't deserve, doesn't mean he should be, it doesn't mean he'll be a good, he was a good Batman, that's the only reason why they say Ben Affleck was a good Batman, that's the only reason why, because he won Best Picture. So overall, Batwoman just got another terrible trailer, and that's basically it. No, and of course they had that really awful song music they played in the first trailer that was really cringy and stuff as well. So that's basically it. Batwoman is just terrible. Goodbye.